everyone so now we are going to do one more lab we use here l2 switch now we are going to use l3 switch so what i will do here i will move this uh, packet tracer the dashboard above now we are going to do the another lab in this one we are going to take the l3 switch how we are going to take the l3 switch select this one select the switch you can see this is a l3 switch so take this switch i will take this two switch we will say this is a l3 switch okay and now if you want to connect you can connect you can take the cable if you want take two cable whatever how many cable you need you can connect and here if you want to give the name you can write here like uh, sw or let me write here multi layer switch ml sw1 i am writing you can write anything it is not hard and fast rule you should follow what i am doing here you can do anything so see here what i have here i have the two switch if you need client pc you can connect the client pc same we used before this is up to you in this lab what we are learning we are learning how we can create the trunk between the two layer 3 switch this is a layer 3 switch okay so now what we will do we are going to learn how we can create the trunk between this interface if you want to assign the ip you can assign the same thing go here and put the ip let me put the ip if you want let me put the ip here okay 1.1 .1 here and this is the 1.2 if you want we can ping also but i am not pinging because all are in the same vlan when we create the different vlan uh, that time we can do that one but anyhow let me assign same as done in our previous lab so later we can use the same topology to do the lab so i will put here 1.4 okay so now this is okay what we will say here now we need to put this port fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 in the trunk and for this switch to also port fast ethernet 0 by 1 0 by 2 in the trunk and if you see this port is blocked because stp blocked this one because this link is going to create the loop in the network so now we have the redundant link that is blocked when we have any issue to the above link then the below link is going to start working okay so now what we will do here in this scenario if you see i have the switch 1 and switch 2 so i am going to configure here the trunk so let's see how we will configure so i will take this uh, cli of the switch which switch this is a switch 1 and here i am going to do the configuration configuration is very simple configuration is very simple whatever we done in the layer 2 similar configuration we are going to do okay so let me move this this way uh, so I, you can see the screen and also you can see the configuration okay so now we are going to do that one so here first we will write no and i will do the basic configuration i will change the host name i will write here host name sw1 and here if you see i have the interface range fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 because we are using this two interface and here if you write switch port mode trunk you will have the error see here you are getting the error because you are using the layer 3 switch when you are using the layer 3 switch you need to write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q if you press question mark cisco new switch is supporting only dot 1q if you go for the old switch that is supporting isl also encapsulation but now all new cisco switch are supporting only dot 1q encapsulation okay so i will write here dot 1q encapsulation okay so if you see first i need to put this command whenever you are doing the trunk configuration in the layer 3 switch whenever you are doing the trunk configuration in the layer 3 switch you need to write this command first switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q then after that you will write switch port mode trunk okay so now this interface become as a trunk if you want to check i will save the configuration and you can write show interface trunk with this command you can check okay this two interface become trunk these two interface become trunk they are using the 802.1q trunking okay they are using this encapsulation so what we can say i make the trunk switch one so now we will do for the switch two switch two automatically going to become but as per the cisco recommend we are going to do the manual configuration so let me go here and let me do here so what i will do i will write here no and then i will change the host name basic configuration we will do i will write here host name as s2 okay after that i will select if you see here fast ethernet 0 by 1 fast ethernet 0 by 2 
so i will write interface range fast ethernet 0 by 1 dash 2 okay like this and then i will write switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q this command first then switch port mode trunk okay this way we will do the trunk configuration if you want to check you can write here show interface trunk you can see here this interface become as a trunk okay so in the layer 3 what we are doing we are using new configuration what is that new configuration first you need to put this command and then you need to put this command okay let me show you let me paste somewhere here so later you can copy that one try to join our telegram channel there we are uh, putting all the topology whatever we are doing okay so you, it will help you so try to join our telegram channel i am going to paste this in that one so see here what command we are writing we are writing switch port switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and here switch port mode trunk so here we are getting some space but there is no space when you see it look like a space but nothing here if you see switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q here switch port mode trunk so everything is good this command i put here and also here that's all so what we learn here we learn here how to configure the uh, what we can say trunk in between layer 3 switch so now we are using the layer 3 switch so we configure the trunk between two layer 3 switch okay and also it is very simple and very easy in case if you face any issue whatsapp us okay thank you bye